Tashi Delek. I would like to say a few words uh, introducing the Bodhisattva project. So we started this project with a singular uh, aspiration mm, to preserve the study and contemplation uh, of the teachings uh, composed by great Indian masters coming from Nalanda and Bikramasila. Uh, Buddhist monastic colleges. So, um, um, writings of great masters like Nagarjuna, <coughs> Aryadeva, Chandrakirti, Chandragomi, um, because um, Throughout the centuries, their writings have been uh, the most important scriptures to understand the teachings of the Buddha, to understand what is it uh, that the Buddha has taught us in the sutras and tantras. They present it in, um, in its entirety and in a way that is accessible to ordinary beings like mm, myself. Um, they present it uh, in a way that there is no room for mm, doubts and misunderstanding. Because sutras and tantras, it is, you know, it's, it's very vast and difficult to navigate for an uh, ordinary person like myself. You know, so I need to depend, um, people like me, we need to depend on the teachings of great Mahasiddhas like uh, Tilopa, Naropa, Nagarjuna, Shantideva, Virupa, you know, to <clears throat> understand Buddha's teachings in its entirety. So, you see, it is extremely important to have um, to, to understand, to, to, to study, contemplate and meditate Buddha Dharma in its entirety. Now, in this modern age, time of dissecting, isolating and compartmentalizing knowledge, which I guess is okay in a mundane world, but many times we see that happening uh, people doing it with the Buddha Dharma too and that's very worrisome and, and kind of sad. Mm, by doing so we limit the ability of Dharma to permeate, to transform, transform our mind, you know. Uh, we end up mm, uh, we end up only focusing and elaborating and learning about you know the part of the Dharma that we like and not the part of the Dharma that we need, you know. Um, so, uh, great masters, they say that a complete understanding of Buddha Dharma is extremely important and something that we cannot afford to be forgotten. Um, so what we are trying to do here is trust the listeners and mm, give ourselves an opportunity to study and contemplate um, these great texts mm, texts uh, <clears throat> thoroughly you know stanza by stanza now um, so a couple of years ago we started this project and it's it's amazing to see that it's successfully running now uh, we have participants from many different countries um, a group of honest and gentle bodhisattvas of whom i'm extremely proud um, you know it is most fulfilling experience to watch their experience and contemplation of buddha dharma and of them themselves and of, and of the world grow you know and thrive and it's uh, i think it's 
it's the best use of my life you know <clears throat> now the, it's it's very simple how the project works is that <clears throat> uh, right now we we are presenting two modules so uh, the first one is where uh, you will learn introduction to buddhism and introduction to different buddhist uh, text uh, sorry introduction to different buddhist philosophies and uh, 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 <clears throat> introduction to the history of Buddhism like this uh, now this shouldn't last any more than one and a half years and then the next module is where we study uh, sort of the mainly the Madhyamika uh, text uh, there we will study uh, the ways of the Bodhisattva entering the middle path and the first eight uh, chapters of the 400 verses um, this shouldn't last longer than maybe six years approximately like this so uh, please you know you can you can read uh, the details uh, on our website if you're interested um, so um, you can participate either by being a listener or by or uh, a trainee now <clears throat> what does it mean to be a listener is that uh, we have participants who say i want to receive the teachings but i don't want to to have any other responsibilities i will you know i just come receive the teachings and that's it and that's fine as long as they are receive, receiving, you know, studying, contemplating, it's really, it's great. And then we have uh, trainees, you know, many people uh, who not only just listen to the mm, sessions, to the teachings, um, also, they also have uh, to give exams sometimes, and uh, we have homeworks for them. Uh, and um, uh, twice a year we do bodhisattva project retreats um, during which they have to be present and at the end of the retreat they have to uh, do a presentation so like this now these are called trainees as in we are training them like as in you know uh, they are getting trained so um <clears throat> mm, now the difference, main difference will be that when you are a trainee, uh, we have a personal relationship with you, sort of close contact with you and we know what's happening, you know. Uh, and so at the end of uh, your studies, uh, we would like to present you uh, with, uh, with a sort of a certificate to acknowledge that yes, you, you know, this person has uh, studied with us you know and this and this text for this much duration and like that so with listeners there's no way of knowing what you're doing you know so that will not be available um so there's there's going to be three sessions per month that will be uploaded online we cannot do it live because we have participants from different countries different continents actually so the time zones are, are a big problem for us so uh, the three sessions of the teachings per month they're going to be put online and you will get a link to to those teachings um, every month there is going to be one session which is going to be live where you can come and uh, you can ask questions and so on uh, and uh, i will try to answer uh, the way we function is entirely through donations so if if you if you uh, have worries like oh how much is this thing going to cost and so on and this shouldn't be um, you know your main concern we don't want this to be your main concern and um, we have kept things donation basis and it worked uh, fine for three years now so we want to we want to keep doing this so and there's no there's not going to be any pressuring or anything like that hopefully <laughs> mm. 
um, then uh, so now uh, this is an invitation for students uh, and practitioners who wants to study this uh, text with us um, so this is going to be the second round of students and um, we will um, officially start in August yeah um, but in June uh, <clears throat> we will do an introduction to Buddhism so I would I would really uh, suggest beginners to attend that that uh, it's it's very short sessions Mm, so that's it.